are you an Elementor user for WordPress and do you want to integrate a bit of AI to your website? Well, this plugin's perfect for you. Let's dive straight in and have a look. Here's the widget. I'm just going to type a quick message. And I'm going to ask, where are you from? Now, this is a bit unusual, like Josh talking to Josh, but let's see what response we get. So I'm from Doncaster, England. It's a lovely place with a rich history. Mm, plenty of character. Yeah, okay, maybe. Um, where are you from? Good to meet you. And don't forget to sign up for your latest tips. Okay, so pretty cool, right? Um, so that's the widget in action. Let's now have a little talk through it. So this is kind of the, the product page for the widget. We've got the widget here uh, uh, as well. And then we've got quite detailed documentation here. So everything on how to install, assistance setup, and I'm gonna kind of walk you through that as well today. But just so you know, the references are all here. It's pretty detailed. And to be honest with you, it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna assume that you can install a plugin. Um, if you can't, don't worry, um, just basically grab the zip file and upload it to your WordPress backend. But let's dive into the backend. So first thing, I'm just gonna deactivate my license because everything's super live. You'll be hit by this page. Go ahead and pop your license key. You'll get that on your email uh, as soon as you um, purchase the plugin. Um, and then we're into some basic setup here. So we've got open AI key, message limit, assistant ID. These are gonna be the key things that we'll need from um, the back end of the assistant dashboard in ChatGPT. So I'm gonna head on over there now. So first thing it says is I need my open AI key. So um, I've got a bunch of keys here already set up, um, but you could go ahead and, oh, excuse me, go ahead and create a new secret key here. Um, press that, set it up, and then copy and paste it into there. Um, now you will need uh, a credit card or debit card attached to your account um, because every time a response is created, it will cost you money. It's not very much, but it will cost you money. Um, and we'll talk about the different models in a bit and, and why each one costs different amounts. But that's the first thing. Next thing, message limit. So you'll notice when we did the demonstration here, um, it says no message remaining, messages sent one out of one. Um, so what we wanted to do here is create a bit of flexibility. Um, zero would be unlimited, so that would just be a straight up chat bot that's going, you know, keep replying until infinity. Um, but potentially you don't want that. Potentially you just want something that allows them to ask a quick, quick question and you're done, um, which is why I've set up one, um, but you can choose that range. Now the assistant ID. So again, um, this is where you'll need to access the assistance backend. Um, so I'm just gonna go to um, essentially, once you land on um, the OpenAI website, just type in on Google OpenAI assistance um, and essentially you'll eventually get to this page. Now in here, this is what I've set up for that assistant. So if you think about what's happening here is when you send a message, it's speaking to this assistant. Now, what a lot of other companies do is they become the middleman and they take a fee from each message. We're providing you direct access. We're just charging you because we've built the widget and we put time, energy and effort and we want to maintain that. So create some instructions. So um, here's my instructions. And again, if you want to use those, you can copy and paste those from the assistant setup section. Uh, you can copy them from here. Um, other things that are cool, file search. So um, what I've done is I've created a, just a basic PDF document with a bunch of information on me. Uh, and that means that the model can then look up that uh, PDF and say, hey, you know, Josh likes tennis or paddle or whatever, um, which can be really useful if you're using, say, a detailed website with a bunch of FAQs, a bunch of product descriptions. Okay, models. Now, models are gonna be important for cost. So if we have a little look at the different models here, um, there's a lot, a lot of information. Now, um, Foro would probably be my recommendation, one of the most intelligent and, and reason, reasonably priced. Um, I've just put in here Foro Mini because it's super cheap and it's super fast. Um, but the response that you get from your PDF might not be as strong. So have a play around with that. And again, we've given you complete flexibility on which model you want to use. Uh, and again, these will develop with time. So it means that you can just very quickly change that. All right, response format must be text. Um, and we're all set up from the assistant perspective. So we just need to grab the assistant ID and we pop it in here. Once that's all set up, we just hit save settings and then we press test connection. Now, if you've set everything up correctly, you're gonna get a response 
and that response will be the name of your assistant, i.e. in your assistant section here, the name that's here. Um, so you know everything's all working. And that's pretty much it. We've got a check updates button, we've got a recapture button, so you can grab your recapture keys from here to prevent spam, pop them in there. Um, but now the exciting bit into the Elementor page builder. So we've got a, an Elementor new tab sat up, set up here. Um, and I'm just gonna search in my widgets for ChatGPT. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop it. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty well set up already. The styling options are pretty good. Um, and the customization is pretty good as well. So um, for example, the, the initial message here, I could change to, um, hello, Josh here, how can I help? Um, and the other thing I'd just like to point out here is the preview mode. So just give a click on that and then you'll see a response message, which is cool as well. Um, we could change the label to Josh. Um, and we can customize the use and etc. the chat limit is expired. We can change all that in here. And then the styling options, we tried to create as many options as possible. Um, so there is a lot of detail here. Uh, for example, we wanna change the user message color to a gray, or we wanna change the uh, label color to a white. Um, we can do that here. And the, the, the options here are pretty, pretty extensive. Um, so that's all there. And then when you're ready to, um, when you're ready to actually see um, the front end, you just go ahead, publish, view the page and your widgets there, all completely responsive. So um, we'll resize nicely on different devices. Uh, you can see the messages and widget there. And obviously you can use this on multiple pages as well. Um, so, so that's kind of that. The other thing just to show you in the dashboard here is the analytics section. So here um, you can see total chats, user messages, assistant messages, um, and you can keep a, a real eye on what's going on and how much this is being used. Um, so that's really, really useful. Um, but it's, it's, it, the idea here is it's a really simple setup that you have complete customization of that works with Elementor um, and we're gonna keep it up to date. So look, it's $2.50 a month. It's really, really good value. Um, and that allows us to, to, to maintain the plugin, keep it up to date. Um, and then you can use it just as I have on your website, completely integrated with Elementor. So that's it, good luck, hope it's useful. And the last thing to say is the documentation is, is pretty extensive. Anything you need, just send an email here and the development team will come straight back to you. Thanks so much for watching.